Hey everyone, so today I want to talk a little bit about working with characters in Articulate Storyline. So just as an overview, um, and sorry, I'm going to delete, delete my triggers here. Uh, just as an overview, if we go to this blank slide and insert characters, you'll see that we have options between photographic characters who um, do have poses but they don't have expressions. Now within their poses, you'll see they have a variety of different expressions, but uh, they don't have an actual triggerable expression. However, if you go to a illustrated character, you'll see that they have expressions and they have a set amount of facial expressions and then they also have different poses. So what we wanna do here is discuss the different states um, that are available for these expressions and uh, show you how we can kind of trigger them to do show a different expression when a certain um, a certain thing occurs. So this could be really helpful if you're say putting in uh, custom feedback and for the correct feedback you want a happy expression and the incorrect you maybe want a thinking expression or maybe for the try again feedback. That could be a useful uh, way of employing this. Now if we click on our character and then go to states we have our normal expression. However if you were to add a state and then click the drop down, you'll notice that there's a whole bunch of different expressions available to us. So we're going to cancel out of that because another thing that people don't really realize is that in order to uh, program these different expressions, you don't need to add them to a new state. So all you would have to do um, is say, create a new trigger that changes the state of character to whichever um, whichever expression you want and then your behavior. Now I'm going to put the behavior as the timeline so when the timeline reaches that way we can cycle through a bunch of, of different expressions in this example and then I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to change the expression every two seconds. Oops. Okay. So now we have a bunch of different um, expressions. We've got angry, surprised, talking, and confused. Now, if you click on your character again and then go into states, you'll see that every triggered expression has been added to our states. This is why you don't have to manually create new states for this. Now when we preview, every two seconds you will be able to see our character change facial expressions. And that's my quick tip for working, or some of my quick tips for working with characters in Articulate Storyline.